up my babies and welcome back to my channel if you guys are new hey my name is unique okay and i'm about to tell y'all how i went from being a broke 16 year old teen mom to having my way um creating financial freedom for myself and making over fifteen thousand a month her. They thought I was going to be struggling with my babies, y'all. So I'm about to tell y'all how I overcame everything and how I'm getting to the money, okay? So if you guys are new here, make sure that you guys subscribe right now. But before we get into this video, let's get into this wig. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> So yeah, get into it. This video is actually sponsored by Open Hair. So this part of the video, y'all will be seeing how this wig was installed, honey. And then afterwards, we gonna get into the tea. So yeah, let's see this wig get installed and I'ma see y'all afterwards. So this wig was installed by Journey. I will leave all of her information on the screen. Go follow her and show her some love because I love the boss babes, okay, period. But this wig, y'all, definitely one of my favorite loose deep white wigs. I feel like this is such a look, especially because summertime is coming up, babe. So make sure that y'all go get y'all one, okay? Because definitely love the lace, love the texture. It was really thick and it just definitely gave that natural look that I love. So y'all are about to see how she installed it and styled it. And yeah. So I'm actually walking downstairs now. I wanna tell y'all about all of this downstairs. Oh, I just got a sale. Ooh. Yes. The girlies are tapping into their content bag. I love to see it. But um, yeah, so I'm walking downstairs. I haven't even really showed y'all my amenities. So I'm gonna show y'all just a little bit, but we're gonna get into this video because I gotta tell y'all, and I feel like I wanted, like God put it on my heart to do a motivational video because for one, I do have a lot of my supporters coming in my DM all under my comments and they wanna like really know, ooh, okay, son. But they really wanna know like what I did and what I'm doing to like maintain my success, what I'm doing to maintain financial freedom and just my mindset on how I really got to where I'm at. So, um, and I'm not even where I really wanna be y'all. Like it's only getting better, but I'm gonna tell y'all how I got where I'm at now. So yeah, it's so beautiful. I didn't even really show y'all the amenities. We have a grill, baby. What time learn how to use that grill? <laughs> In summertime, it's gonna be so fun, y'all. Y'all gonna catch me poolside. Poolside, for sure. So this is the cafe area, y'all. It is so cute in here. So cute. I really wanted to shoot my video on here, but it's too much background music playing. So we about to go in the room across from here. So there's a game room, and then it's this room right here.
Yeah, you need to be listening to this video in a car, at work, when you are in the shower, if you need some extra motivation, like go ahead and send this to somebody that you know needs that extra push because y'all like, I did it, it's possible. There's so many other people that did it, it is possible. So yeah, if you're feeling unmotivated and you need to get out of your lazy era, this is for you. If you feel like you're stagnant in life and nothing is really going good, this video is for you, okay? If you feel like you really wanna grow but you don't know how to grow, this video is definitely for you because y'all like, I was there. I didn't know what to do, how to grow, how to get out of that mindset that I was in. And it really kept me stuck for like a long ass time until I got out of that. And then that's when the blessings started pouring in, honey. Okay, so we're about to get into it. Yeah, drop a pink heart if you are here with me in the comments and you made it this far. And if you already subscribed, okay, per. But yeah, go ahead and drop a pink heart. And yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so we're about to get started. What's up, y'all? So... Um, like I said, you guys do not know me. My name is Unique. And quick backstory on me, y'all, uh, and my story. So I found out I was pregnant at 15, and I had my daughter at 16. As y'all can imagine, I was scared as shit. Like I didn't know what I was gonna do, where I was gonna get that money to really provide and take care of my child. But I don't know. I just I was gonna make it work. So I had a job at this place called Freddy's, which was like a fast food restaurant. And, um, yeah, I was the cashier, but I also used to clean, like, you know, do everything around there for the most part, except in the kitchen. They did not want me back there because I was pregnant, baby. I did not want to be back there. But, um, yeah, I was getting paid minimum wage, and honestly, I hated it. I really did because me being pregnant and working, I used to walk in the plaza because I worked in a plaza. At the time, Toys R Us was up and running. So I used to work in that plaza right there by it. And on my lunch break, I would walk over there and I would see all of these nice things, but it would go over my budget. I was not able to get it. And I'm like, oh my God, like I really want to get to a place where I'm able to provide for my child how I want to. Like I don't want to get my child just bare minimum i just feel like for me i don't want to do that um i'm bringing her into this world and i just want to give her everything so i just was not feeling it i saved up my checks y'all i was getting paid only like 300 minimum a week probably not even that i think it was honestly less than that because at the time i was in school and i was trying to work so long story short y'all i had invested in like my heat press business and y'all, quick pause, but I forgot all about my lip gloss business. Like, I'm about to insert clips, but even while I was working, I did invest and also get stuff to start my lip gloss brand because, baby, money had to be made, okay? I had started that up, and it wasn't really doing anything. I was getting, like, a little sales, but y'all, I really didn't know anything about going into business. I just had the idea, but I really didn't know much about marketing and much about sales. Like, I don't know. I just, I was kind of lost. I just really wanted to find a way to make a living for me and my kid and not just bare minimums. So anyways, three weeks later after my daughter was born, I ended up posting a YouTube video and basically telling people how I found out I was pregnant and y'all, it was crazy. And it ended up going viral, viral. And don't get me wrong, at first I had like 100 views, 112 views, and it was just like 112 nosy ass people at my school that wanted to know like how I got pregnant because I was like the talk of the school. Um, you know, I was young and I was having a baby. Nobody was like, you know, having kids. Like, anyways, my mom called me one day. She was like, you need to check your video because I had stopped checking it at a point. I just uploaded the video to spread awareness. And I seen it wasn't really doing numbers. So I'm just like, whatever, as long as it gets to somebody. But anyways, my mom had called me one day and she was like, you need to check your video. I went to check it. Why did I have over 50,000 views? Those 50,000 views went all the way to 100,000, 200,000, 500,000, y'all. It just kept going up. And from that one video, I had gained over 100,000 subscribers because people felt my story and people wanted to see more of me. So ever since then, baby, I took that and I ran with it. And I have been creating content since. I have been making an, a living and an income from off of YouTube and social media and TikTok and Instagram since. And I have been helping other people create content and like actually learn how to create content and generate money from their phone okay so i'm about to tell y'all all, all of the steps on the back end that has been helping me and that has helped me grow how to learn how to actually grow myself because i feel like in order for you to get where you want to be in life you really have to do all of the work on the back end y'all you have to you have to work on yourself you have to have a plan and action so i'm about to tell y'all what helped me okay but um yeah so for one i do believe in multiple sources of income y'all i'm financially 
free right now because yes i started making content i stepped out on faith and y'all a lot of people were telling me don't start your channel do not start your channel but guess what i did i started it because yeah <laughs> even though i was scared y'all don't get me wrong i was very scared i was so scared to tell my story to like the internet because i honestly didn't know who was gonna see it but it was just on my heart to do it and i did but just imagine if i would have listened to everybody that was like don't post your video you don't need to post that no like you're gonna get negative feedback which i did but i mean it opened up a door i got negative feedback but i mostly had got positive feedback y'all so i mean it is what it is but yeah i just be thinking like just imagine if i really would have listened and like not made my video oh my god so that's why all of my mentees i just push them to start you have to start you have to start from somewhere y'all so for one my first tip it all starts mentally if you're not mentally good with yourself nothing good is going to come out of that however you feel on the inside always shows on the outside so if you're passionate about what you're doing you're determined you healed all of your past trauma you're not bitter about anything it shows in your work it shows in how you carry yourself heal all of your past trauma like you might be going through it where you're still hurt from what an ex did to you from what somebody whoever hurt you did to you Y'all, it is okay. Like, when I say life goes on, life goes on. And it took me a minute to really accept that. But once I did, life got easier. I started wishing, like, all of the people that did me wrong the best in life because I know that God has something better for me. My plan is way bigger outside of all of the bullshit. So, I really had to get that in mind. And once I did, it got me out of my depression. I want to say I wasn't even really depressed. I'm not even going to throw around that depressed word, but it did get me out of like a dark phase that I was in because I was kind of like throwing a pity party. I was just like living in what people did to me or like how I felt about a lot of situations. I was just low key letting it make me a little better for a little while. But y'all, once I got out of that, blessings started to pour in because God cannot bless you if you're literally sitting up here feeding into the devil's energy, feeding into what people were sent to do to destroy you. Like, you cannot get blessed from that. So you really have to just heal and move forward. Life goes on, it is what it is. Heal those past traumas, heal those childhood traumas because you wanna be the best version of yourself. You have no time to waste. Life is going by fast. It's already, what, April? In January had just started. I remember it being in church on midnight at, on New Year's. So life is going by fast. Do not let time pass you by. Let go. Let God and be free, babes. Because I tell you, your destiny and what you're destined to do is way bigger than your hurt. Way bigger than your pain. That goes into my second tip, y'all. Let your pain be your motivation. Everybody needs motivation. Like, y'all know my motivation was obviously my daughter at that time. And now it's my two babies. But, like, when I really was in that mode y'all my daughter because i'm about to bring a child in this world i don't want her to want for anything period you know what i'm saying so that made me really want to get up and go you have to have a get up and go about yourself you have to have that mentality but what's going to make you have that moment that mentality your motivation so what are you passionate about what do you want in your life if you don't have any kids Go after that dream life that you want for yourself because you love yourself so bad. Okay, so like I said, my motivation are my kids, but y'all, it's also my lifestyle that I want for myself. Okay, because I know what type of girl I am, and baby, I like the best of everything. So I know what type of life I want, so I'm going to go get it. You know, I'm going to grind, and I want to grind now while I'm young, so that way I can reap the benefits when I am older. So whatever your motivation is, y'all, have it mentally in your head. Every day you wake up and you feel this and you feel like you're not motivated think about what's going to really drive you to go towards your goals when you wake up oh my kids when you wake up oh that g-wagon or oh i want to be financially free whatever your goal is and y'all my goal was never to just be rich i mean i'm not gonna i'm gonna take that because i do want to be rich but it never was about just the money though it was about strictly financial freedom just being free not being a slave to work okay because i just i couldn't see that for me and i don't see that for a lot of y'all like we i don't want us to be a slave to work or if we do have a job like we do not have to be a slave to making a small amount for like nothing and also y'all it does not hurt to be a little delusional and live in your dream life inside of your head until it actually happens like 
When you wake up in the morning and you want to see your car, act like that's your dream car. Whatever your dream life is to you, you can make it happen. But it all starts with your motivation and your mindset. So now we're gonna move on to step three, and that is to cut off all of the distractions around you. All of those friends that don't mean you no good and they wanna talk about bullshit and drama all day. Yeah, okay, cool, but babes, how are we gonna get some money? How are we gonna help each other get to the next level, get our dream bodies, like really accomplish our goals instead of like sitting down, get going out and getting drunk all the time. Like it's cool sometimes y'all, but you have to have that balance. So you don't have friends around you that's pushing you and they wanna help you waste your time and life and y'all not where the hell y'all wanna be. Babes, cut them off. Cut them off. If they're just feeding you negative energy, if you're getting any type of hater energy from them, cut them the fuck off, okay? Like, excuse my language, but y'all cut them off, like period, because you don't have time. You're in a, in a phase in your life where you don't have time for the bullshit. You're not talking about money? I don't wanna talk. You're not talking about how we gonna better ourselves? I don't wanna talk, okay? So cut off all the distractions. Cut off that man that's around you, that's leeching off of you and not, and not helping you benefit or move forward in your life. Cut him off too, because guess what? You're destined for something bigger. You don't have time for anything to be pulling you down. Those are like dead weights on you. And guess what you're gonna do when dead weights are on you, baby? You're gonna sink, literally. So cut that shit completely off, off because you gotta look at the bigger picture in the vision and you're not gonna get there you don't take those steps that you need that seem small but it's really big and it's so effective you need to take those steps to get where you want to be cut them folks off it's okay you are gonna live and you want to live you don't want to just live you want to really live so in order to get where you want to go you gotta cut them folks off i have broke down everything y'all too so I could be more organized and tell y'all. Oh, also listen to motivational speakers. So once you get you uh, get rid of the old stuff in your life, come on, put new stuff in your life. Listen to motivational speakers. Um, me personally, I was listening to Trenton Topic. Now she helped me in the aspect of, I really wanna heal and heal my past trauma because it was making me like a little bitter or whatever and like living in that misery. And I just, I didn't wanna do that. So I really had to let go and put in like positive stuff in my life so trending topic she definitely helped me sarah jakes um eric thompson very 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 motivational speaker y'all and it might sound cliche the old workout oh believe in yourself oh do this do that but y'all it really 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 works it sounds way easier than what it actually is because it's hard to really get up and stay motivated it's hard to get up and stay consistent it's hard to really believe in yourself but these are the things that's going to help you so listen to those motivational speakers. They definitely help me tremendously. I'm going to link them down below as well. But check them out, y'all, because you need to have that positive in your ear. And listening to people that are actually successful and that has literally started from nothing to something, it really motivates me. It moves me because it's just like, okay, they started from literally nothing and they have their dream life right now because they were believing in themselves and doing everything that sounds so simple to do. You really have to implement that in your life and do it. So listen to them people, y'all. I'm telling you, I'm going to link them down below. And y'all, a whole nother thing. I just feel like so many people have just been exiting out of my life. Friends that I have had for years. Like, I only had probably like three friends from school. From like middle school, high school. But like everybody else, they went this way, left. They exited out of my life. And y'all, really and truly, I just believe that when that happens... It's because God doesn't want these people to go where you're going. So guess what? They got to get cut off. They have to get up out of your life because they can't go where you're going. They can't go and receive the blessings that you're about to receive because God had heard conversations and he didn't see things that you didn't even see. Okay? So that's what I really had to realize because y'all, that's real. Like, they cannot go where you're going. So don't cry over spilled milk, y'all. Fuck it. Move on. Because guess what? Your, your, your blessings is way bigger. So that's all that matters. So next, y'all, you have to be confident. Be confident about what you do. If you're a chef, if you personal train people, if you are a teacher, uh, whatever you do, y'all, you have to be confident. You have to put that, like, when you go out places, talk about what you do. Do not be scared or, like, try to hide your talents or what you do in your life, y'all tell people because that's how you network, that's how you receive more blessings in your life, and that's how you build your confidence up about what you do. It took me a minute to start recording in public, but y'all, once I did, 
and I really started being confident with it and really stopped caring what people said or how they was looking at me. Y'all, I was started having people come up to me like, oh my God, what do you do? Do you constant create? I want to do that. I want you to mentor me. Like, you know, so it just would be more blessings. And y'all, once I started being more confident, like, yes, I'm a content creator. Yes, I'm a YouTuber. Yes, I know how to actually attract people to social media and all of this. Y'all, it felt so much better. I felt way confident about what I was doing. I don't know why. I just, for a minute, I just didn't want to tell people all the way. But y'all, I happily wear that on my shoulder because I'm proud. I know what I could do. I know I changed lives. You know what I'm saying? I know I changed my life. You feel me? Like, I know what I'm doing is not easy. So, I'm going to proudly say yes, I'm a content creator. And whoever says you're bragging on what you're doing when you're speaking on it, they're a hater. And they need to turn their life up. They want you to calm all the way down. No, baby, you need to turn up a little bit. Turn it up a notch. Because you're not on my level. So, yeah, you definitely need to proudly say what you do. Speak highly about it. Speak highly about yourself and be confident about that. And also, you have to be confident in all aspects of your life. How do you walk? How do you carry yourself? People pick up on that energy. Even you pick up on that energy. Like, when you feeling good and you looking good, y'all, it's the way you walk. It's the way you feel about yourself and your aura. You know, you want to feel like that all the time, not just that specific day. So, make sure that you proudly take care of yourself. You show yourself some self-love. You be confident about what you do. You're confident about yourself and how you carry yourself as a woman, as a businesswoman, as a nurse, as a doctor, as a lawyer. Whatever you're doing, you want to carry that confidence. Because if you don't, it's going to show. It's going to show your work. It's going to show your life, your decisions. Be confident. Even if you're not all the way where you want to be just yet, act like you are. Act like you are, and that's exactly how you can get to where you want to be. You cannot elevate if you're still acting the same, doing the same stuff. How are you going to elevate? Okay, so make sure that you are carrying that on your sleeve and you being confident about yourself. You don't care about what nobody says about you. You don't care if you fail, if your business fail, because guess what? You're going to do plan two. You're not going to give up. Plan B, plan C, plan D, plan E, plan F. You eat all of those losses up, and that's another thing, y'all. Do not be scared to fail. You have to eat those losses up. Eat them up. Eat them for breakfast. Eat them for lunch. Eat them for dinner. Okay? Like, a lot of people are scared to start whatever they want to start. Start that business. Start that channel. Start whatever. Because they're like, oh my God. Okay, I'm going to post about it. And then if I fail, people are going to see. It is no such thing. Because guess what? If you fail, you're going to get back up and you're going to try something else. Or you're going to keep going until you see the results that you want to see because you're that determined and passionate about what you want to do. Okay? So, it's, never take no for an answer. And don't be scared to fail because guess what? You can eat them up and use it as your motivation to go even harder. Okay? I really don't even know what number I'm on, y'all. So, I'm just going to stop counting at this point. But you want to write down your goals and know your vision. It's kind of like a GPS for your life. And when you're somewhere that you don't know, all the way, y'all, you want to have that GPS because you don't know where you're going. You're going to get lost. You don't want to get lost. So you want to get that GPS to get where you're going, okay? So when I say that, get a content planner. Uh, really sit down and get a notebook, whatever. You can go to Dollar General and get you a notebook. Write down your goals. Write down where you want to be, what you want to accomplish by the end of the year, by the end of the month, by the end of this week. Write that down because, y'all, and even when you write down a to-do list for what you want to do daily, I do that in my notes. I'm about to show y'all. But when you see and you check off everything that you did and everything that you didn't do, and you really sit back and see, oh, my God, it's so much stuff that I did not do. You see why you're not progressing in life. You see why you're stagnant and why you ain't going nowhere. So you need to write down them goals that I do. And the things that I don't do, I'm like, oh, you, you got to go harder because I want to get to a point to where... All, my whole checklist is just complete for the day, for the week, for the month. You know, so write down your goals. Write down where you want to be. Write down what you need to do. And it's cool to write down your vision and where you want to be in the bigger picture. But you got to write down the steps on how you're going to get there. That's the important part. And you want to know what's more important than writing down them steps. Actually executing that shit. Actually doing it. 
doing it, staying motivated, and really accomplishing and checking everything off. It's really simple, y'all. Like, and I feel like a lot of people stay where they are, where they are, because they're scared. They don't have enough motivation, and not even because they don't have enough motivation. They just don't want to do it. Like, they're scared to step outside of the box. But guess what? You're never gonna get nowhere. You're gonna literally sit in the same spot. You want to get out of this area in your life that you're in, you have to change it up. You have to do something different. All this time that you're spending on your phone, scrolling, looking at other people's lives, you could be putting that time and energy into going to the gym to work towards the body that you want for yourself. You could be using that time to clean your car, to clean your house, to do things that you need to do that you know is going to make your situation better. Using that time to research more business ideas, to record content, to do things that's going to further your future, y'all. You sitting down, getting high, getting drunk all the time, and just letting your life waste away is not doing the thing. Celebrate when you're up and where you want to be in life. Which, it's to the point now, like, y'all, like, I don't even want to get drunk or I don't want to go out and celebrate because it's just like, what am I celebrating right now? I'm still in the same spot. That's, that's what I had to think about. I'm still in the same spot. I'm sitting up here wasting money on going out. Well, maybe I could be using that to invest in my business. I could be using that money to invest in something. Wasting my time for what? And around people that just don't want to see me in a better position and they hating on me on the love. For what? So you have to change your mindset. You have to change your circle. Because if you don't, like I said, you're going to stay in the same spot. You're not going to get nowhere. Me creating content and me starting my journey y'all I had to change my circle around because people started hating people started leeching people started not having good intentions and that's what happened that money will change people money is the root of all evil literally that's why I said it's never about the money with me I me mean, it's about the money but it's not like that's not the main thing like the main goal was to just be free so when you start elevating in life, y'all, look around. Like, you really got to make sure that the people that's in your life is solid. You don't have no room, no energy, no time for nobody leeching, for nobody using you, for bad energy wished upon you with your energy. I take my energy so serious now, y'all, because you wonder why you're feeling a certain way, why you're down. It's because somebody around you have bad energy, they, they have bad vibes, and that shit is rubbing off on you. So, um, you really, if you want to get to a different point in your life, step out on faith. Stop being scared. Scared money don't make no money. I'm so quick to say that, y'all. I need to get a shirt that says scared money don't make no money. Because it don't. And I'm so quick to say that. And me having that mindset, even when I'm scared to, like, do different business ventures because I feel like, oh, what if this don't go right? It's okay. Because guess what? What if it does? What if it does? What if I stay consistent instead of giving up and I start to see results? I'm so proud and passionate about what I do and what I've accomplished and what I've learned. That's why I put all of that into a course. Y'all literally teaching people how to get monetized, how to grow their subscribers, how to title their videos, how to deal with negative comments, how to actually create thumbnails, how to edit. Y'all, I'm so passionate about this. That's why I created it. And yeah, it's $25 right now, y'all, on sale. Make sure that you guys go grab it. But I have been just helping people and y'all that's a whole nother stream of income now you know helping people and actually teaching them what i know so if you know how to cook good babes go cook get in that kitchen make plates make little drinks summertime coming up get go on amazon get your supplies you know how to do hair do specials to start off so you can actually build your client base up you know you have to use what you have to get what you want okay period is no excuse no excuses if you have to go to sales costco get you some snacks go around and sell them money has to get made regardless so yeah whatever you know how to do y'all put that into something put that into a course teach other people how to do that because there's other people that might not know and they really want to learn so you have to show them you know so multiple streams of income y'all i'm like a big advocate for that i feel like you have to have most of multiple streams of income if you really want to be financially free more money is not gonna hurt nobody okay so you're an ob you could easily start a course or something that's gonna put other people on to really learn the steps on how to become an ob you know like it's just it's a whole lot so if you know how to dress really good and you know how to style people babes go style somebody you know, go style somebody. Go literally in public, old school style, and pass out flyers. Pass out your business cards. They had a girl going viral on 
um, on TikTok because she had a nail business and she was literally going and giving people like flowers, individual flowers with her business card attached to it and giving it to girls. And not only is that like building a personal connection where people are like, oh my God, I love that. Like I want to go shop, but she's also posting that on TikTok. So now she's using a whole different marketing strategy and y'all don't even realize it. Now other people on TikTok are looking to book her because I mean, they want to work with her now. They love that idea. So whatever you're doing, don't be scared to record your process, to record how you do it, but don't record it any kind of way. That's when my course come in, so y'all can actually learn how to record it. But don't record it any kind of way. Don't just put anything out there. Like, really put your time, your effort, and your patience into your content. If you don't like how something looks, go back and record it. Period. Don't ever settle with nothing. That goes for your content, for your job, for how you do your work. If you don't like something, y'all, go back and correct it. Go back and correct it. And that's the only way that you're going to prosper in life by not settling me now i could never settle oh me used to settle but when i got in that mode and i got in that grind mode and i learned like you cannot settle in life for shit unless you're happy and even then still on damn self like i don't know you just you can't do that so um i really hope that this did touch somebody and that it did get through like you learned something from this video because y'all like life is precious and i just feel like you don't have to be a slave to working you can have your job two jobs three jobs whatever but also your different sources of passive income on the side at least try even if you feel like it doesn't work and it doesn't try plan b or try harder because maybe you didn't do something right the first time you know but I love y'all so much. Make sure that you guys subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. And yeah, bye y'all. Go get this money.